Hello and welcome to the third video in this series on ISVA. In this video, we will provide an overview of Federation touching various aspects of it which includes its activation, features, navigation, management and its logging and tracing. What is Federation? Federation is a single sign-on between two secure domains. It offloads the burden of managing users and their access by yourself to another trusted party who provides this trusted information securely. It means you don't need to worry about users accessing your system. Instead, the trusted party manages the users on your behalf. It is also convenient for the users who experience a seamless sign-on between domains without having to re-login again and again. IBM Security Verify Access provides a federation module so that collaborating organizations can gain secure access to each other's applications. It basically consists of one or more service providers and an identity provider. An IDP is a partner in federation that can authenticate the identity of a user. A service provider provides a business function as a service. The SP trusts the IDP who authenticates the user on service provider's behalf. Federation module provides various features, some of which includes a single sign-on for users across multiple applications, support for SAML 1.1 and 2.0 federations, WS federation, and also OpenID Connect protocols for federated access. It also provides pre-integrated federation connectors to popular cloud applications. It provides ability to write custom JavaScript-based mapping rules for SAML and OpenID Connect. Another important feature for which customers use it is the STS module. You can configure the security token service module to validate and exchange security token types. Now we will talk about how to activate the federation module. You need an activation key to enable federation module. Once you have the key, you need to log into the appliance and via LMI go to system, updates and licensing and click on import. Select and import the activation key. Once the appliance auto restarts, go to the same path and you should see the federation module listed under the activated modules. Note, for container-based deployment, there is a pre-requirement to have an external HVDB configured, which is contrary to the appliance, which can have both internal and external high volume database. You can also verify the runtime status for federation via LMI, go to federation, global settings, runtime parameters and check the runtime status. Here you should see the status as started. Now we will see various navigation options to work with federation. To access the configured federation on your appliance via LMI, go to Federation, Manage, Federations and select the required federation. Here you can create a new federation, edit or delete the existing federations and also export the metadata configuration file in XML format which is shared with the IDP or SP for setting up federations. In this example, you can see that we have created a federation named QuickFed which is based on SAML 2.0 protocol and which is assigned a role of identity provider. Also, you can see a federation named OIDC which is following the OpenID Connect protocol and is acting as a relying party. Now, in the navigation section, we will see how to check the configured partners for a particular federation. 
for the configured federation you can create multiple partners you can check the partners configured via lmi go to federation manage federations select the required federation and click on partners it will list down all the partners configured with that federation in this example you can see that we have configured salesforce as a partner who is acting as a service provider next we will talk about managing the federation federations can be managed via both lmi and cli we have already talked about lmi navigation paths before in this video federation can also be managed via rest apis via rest api you can create delete or update a federation configuration as well as the partner configuration you can export or import the federation and partner configurations as well as you can retrieve the existing configurations you can access the available rest api script documentation via lmi go to system secure settings file downloads federation folder go to the docs you can download the zip file which contains information about various rest api scripts available for federation management in this example you can leverage the resource uri via an http post command to create a new federation via the rest api scripts you can also implement the same via lmi also now we will talk about enabling tracing for federation and checking federation logs to enable trace go to federation runtime parameters runtime tracing select the tracing component com.tivoli.am.fim select the trace level click add click save and deploy the changes you can select the trace components and their respective levels based on the issue that you need to troubleshoot to view the enable trace and logs for federation go to monitor application log files federation here all the logs for federation are available including the trace logs which we just enabled note that you need to disable the trace after troubleshooting your issue also a small note for container based deployment logs are not shown in lmi instead respective container environment needs to be checked for that specific log thank you for watching and stay tuned to our channel for more videos on isva